what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so i finally got my impala back home it is dirty i need to clean it up uh it sat back there in my dad yard for for a couple months so yeah it definitely definitely need to be cleaned up i got a few little things i need to need to fix on it i need to put this back on so i need to put the emblem back on my son peeled this off the leather so he started peeling it and peeled it off so I'm gonna order a new a new set of those online um and now i need to figure out what wheels i need to get um i keep thinking about billets and then i want the the uh sandman design replicas and then i want some forgiados so i i don't know i don't know which one i'm gonna go with um i need to make my mind up soon because i do want to go ahead and get my wheels in here so today I was taking a look at the seats, as you can see. I don't know if y'all got a good look at them last time, but man, these things are awesome. They're clean, so I'm highly impressed with it. Uh, none of them are, are bolted down, so I do have to um, get, them, get them bolted down. I do have to bolt them down, but what I'm about to do is uh, I'm going to take out the carpet, and I'm going to go sit it on back of the trailer that's over there. And yeah, I do got all my vehicles home now. So the Grand National, the 73, Weiss, Honda, my SS. I got the Tahoe that I am uh, selling. I had what about, I had a few people hit me up. Uh, two people came, looked at it yesterday. One trying to get a loan today through his bank to see if he can buy it. So it may be sold today, it may not. Either way, it's up for sale. Uh, still working on the truck. I uh, should have some more videos coming to that. I'm going to finish putting this motor together and painting inside of here. Um, and then, of course, I got the, the family van, the bourbon, and my tow truck. So I towed my Impala back with it uh, with no problems. They actually towed way better than my, way better than the Tahoe usually does. So, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, so I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take out take out all these boxes and, and stuff. I think these are the old seat covers. Yep, these are the old, these are the old seat covers. Um, hold on one second. Here are the, here's the top back seat. Oh, look like, oh, that's some dirt, probably from the box. So I am gonna put some protectant and clean these seats, try to keep them nice and clean, but here's the back. Um, and there's the bottom right there. Um, so yeah, I'll come back in a second. I'm gonna pull this box out with the carpet that's right there. Uh, I'm gonna pull this box out. Put it on back of the trailer and let this carpet sit out. I have had this carpet for over a year. So they said uh, you're actually supposed to take it out. As soon as you, you pick it up, you're supposed to take it out the box and let it sit. Uh, so it won't keep that form of the box. But today is going to be, I think, 80, 80 some degrees today and tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it out and just let it sit outside today. And I'm going to bring it back outside tomorrow. And I'm going to just let it sit all day and hopefully... Um, I'll be able to go ahead and, and install this carpet in here. All right, as you can see, there's my, there's the carpet. I got it laid out and I'm gonna just let it sit out here, um, for all day today. And then, uh, tomorrow, well, we'll see how it looks at the end of the day. And then tomorrow, uh, I may let it sit out again, but, um, for now, that's all I'm gonna do. Just let it sit there. All right, as far as the, see if I can let you see the, the rear seats now. I pulled them out. And I do have to uh, pull up my center console um, and take all the other seats out. So, there is the, there is the back outside so you can see it nice and clean. Here's the bottom. So it is nice and clean. 
uh, like I said, I still do have all the old seat covers. I'll probably put them up in a box somewhere and just leave them. So I do need to take out this carpet. Um, I may try to spray the bottom of them seats. No, actually there's a cover that goes over top of them. So you won't really see that. So, um, yeah, I was going to say I was going to spray these black, but I forgot there is a cover that goes over that goes over them so you won't be won't even be able to see them so the only thing i really need to do is pull out the center console so i'm gonna pull this center console out and figure out what's going on with this because it doesn't look like as you can see there's a gap right here up top down low is pretty good but looking up in there looked like it's, it didn't go all the way in maybe it's broke i don't know so i gotta I gotta figure this out so this can fit nice and flush. It's supposed to be flush. So I'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, I'll be back once I start uh, taking out this center console and removing this carpet out of the car. All right, y'all. So it's been a couple days. I did let this sit out in the sun two days in a row. So uh, to try to get some kind of form out of it. So it did uh, straighten out a little bit. So. The rest will just be held on by the screws and the seats that's on top of it. So I'm going to get at a shot today. So today I am going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out all the seats. And then I need to pull out the center console. That way I can, and also all the trim. So I'm going to pull off all the trim and the center console. That way I can get this carpet put in today. Uh, but the other day I was messing around. Uh, something was going on with my, with my charging system. So I went and I noticed that my nut that was holding on the positive was not all the way tight. So when I went to tighten it, uh, I broke it. So this is the type that it is. It's a screw inside of it, which it, which holds on this, which goes to my amp. So I had to order a new one. So I ordered a new one. Uh, I'm gonna put this on. Uh, I did take the the cable and nut off the back of my alternator because it was it was filthy back there. It was full of power steering fluid. I had a leak. Uh, the gasket, the little O-ring on the power steering was ripped. So I had to go in and replace that and some leak down there. So I'm hoping that since I cleaned everything, I got a new bolt that everything will charge up fine. So we, we're going to see. I did go and charge up my battery. I let it charge uh, in my garage. So I'm going to hook everything back up. Now I'm going to put my car in the middle and we're going to start pulling everything out. All right. Here's a good look at all the seats that I got. So, of course, that's the bottom, the rear, top. This is the driver here. And then we got the passenger. So they are, like I said, nice and clean. Here's the old carpet. It look like somebody spilled some coffee or something. All kinds of stuff in here. I don't know what that is. I ain't never noticed this. It's look like the thing you put in the, you drop in the toilet. But ain't no telling how long some of this stuff has been in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this stuff up and I'm gonna start pulling them. Take all this trim off and start pulling off, pulling out this carpet. Uh, another thing that I do have to do is my goal was to run this cord that goes for my head unit. I wanted to run this under the carpet and run it up in inside of here. So, um, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I may have to drill a hole at the bottom of that, but I'm okay with that. So we'll see. We'll see how I get it done. It is uh it is wireless CarPlay, but. I still want to have a, the capability of having the wire. I guess if I need to charge it or something, that I can listen to music and charge it at the same time. So, all right, I'm going to pull this out. I'll come back once I pull this stuff out. Well, after fighting with all this stuff, I finally got the carpet up. And it looks clean. No rust anywhere. Just got some dirt, a couple quarters. But for the most part, everything is nice and clean all over. So I can tell you what took me the longest getting this thing out. So what I didn't know was there was two screws, two bolts holding on right here in the front. 
because this thing was right here on there and, and it's been on there so long it looked like it was molded in so i thought this was all one piece so i had to call one of my homies who i just seen do his carpet and he told me to look uh look for those two bolts so i was messing around with that thing for a while before i ended up calling him but i ended up getting it out so but now i am going to vacuum up and i'm gonna stick in the new carpet to see uh to see where I need to make my cut set and all that stuff. So I'm gonna try to get this going. So I got my amp wire running. So, all right, let me get this new carpet in and then I'll, I'll come back. So here's the carpet laid beside each other. Uh, it's the next day. Yesterday I was messing around with it. I got tired of messing with it, so. A lot of times when you get tired of messing with stuff, you need to walk away for a little while before you break something. So I just went ahead and shut it down yesterday and I said I'll finish up this morning. So I got this carpet laid out. Uh, there's that carpet. As you can see, that thing is filthy. And I would try to clean it. So everything is good, it's just dirty. So I could get this clean, but the issue is this right here. So that's worn. The carpet is worn all the way out. It's ran worn through right there. Look where the heel or the foot was resting at. So that's the reason why I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it out. Um, this carpet is not as good as this OEM carpet. So this OEM carpet is nice and thick. This is kind of thin. So, but. This is what we got, this is what we're gonna use. Um, a lot of people have used this one um, and there was a lot of good reviews about it. So so I'm gonna run with it at the end of the day. If I don't like it, I could order something else. I don't like to do things twice, but yeah, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this cleaned out. I need a vacuum up in here. And once I vacuum up, I'm gonna start putting this thing back together. I wanna go ahead and knock this out in the next hour or so, so I can be done with it. I got some stuff I need to do to my other vehicles. Um, I started cleaning up the garage, so. All right, I'll be back in a minute. So I'm still working on this carpet. It's kicking my butt. So you just gotta make sure that you measure once. I mean, measure multiple times and cut once. So right now I got my wife out here helping me. So I'm about to trim this up and get this so it can lay lay flat. That way I can make sure that I got enough over here. Right now it's enough on both sides, but I need it to I need it to lay flat. So so that's where the center console is going. But it's going good. A little bit more, a little bit at a time. All right, I'll be back once we finish cutting. All right, so you can see we got the holes cut for the center console area. And then I work my way from right here, pushing it out to make sure it's nice and tight. And I cut all the holes that the seats for the seats. And then I put the screw in them to keep it tight. And then we're just going to work our way over to the other side and do the exact same thing. So definitely got to make sure you um leave this for your seat it's connecting your seat and um this right here is your seat belt hole so on the other side there's a seat belt hole but there there's also a connector on the other side i think that's to let your car know whether you have your seat belt on it's a sensor in there so we're gonna work our way to the other side and we're gonna knock this out that way we can go ahead and start putting these chairs and stuff in but it's starting to look good all right, so I finally got both sides down. I didn't put this in. I just wanted to check the fitment to see how it how it fit right here to make sure there was enough carpet. But but there's there's gonna be enough once I put this down. And once this this is down, it'll be good. Um, so now the only thing I got left, I do have to trim up there. So I got to figure out how much I need to trim up top. So I'm gonna trim up top, and then I think I need to trim some back here, but what I'll do is um, 
I need to cut the holes out for the seat. So there's the brackets for the back seat right here. So I'll make sure it's nice and tight. I'm gonna cut these holes, these two, there's two brackets for the back. And then I'll be done. I'll just have to trim and then I'm gonna start putting these seats in. I'll put that console, the center console in and then put the seats. I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean that real quick before I put it in so it can be nice and clean match the carpet a little bit because right now it's dirty from where somebody spills stuff all on the side so i'm gonna get that cleaned up and then i'm gonna put these seats and stuff in let's get this thing going all right so i got the passenger side in i got all the trim panels back in got the carpet slid under i trimmed the top the top of it so yeah i got the whole passenger side in now, I'm going to work on the driver's side. So here's the driver's side. I haven't did this side yet. So I'm going to get this side all nice and tight. And then I'm going to put all these trim pieces on. And then I'm going stick to this, stick this center console in. And we back at it. I did put my seat belt, seat belts back on. Don't forget, if you take off your driver's side, there's a connector that you got to pull up through there and I open the area and pull this connector up and I got the other one up so we're about to get this going all right so I got my passenger's front seat in so got it screwed down uh, I don't have the back in but the bottom of the back I don't have the bottom in but I do I already put it in the rear so now I'm gonna put it in the driver's side. All this movement, pushing the carpet. Once it relaxes, hopefully it'll stay in there once it relaxes. So, got it full tight. All right, I'm gonna go put my, put my driver's seat in. And then we almost good. Oh. All right, so I finally got it finished. Got my new seats in and my new carpet. So I still have to vacuum. I'm gonna vacuum up, but everything looks nice and neat, clean, the way I wanted it. Door panels, brand new. Seats, brand new. Carpet, brand new. Dashboard repainted. Uh, got my system in, LS2 engine. Um, next, I need to paint correct this thing, so. Uh, I'm gonna paint correct it maybe next weekend. Uh, I need to put back on the emblem and I need a matter of fact I'm gonna order the new uh, Size strips tonight um, So they could come in. Hopefully they got them on it. They usually have them on eBay the OEM ones So I'm gonna order those tonight and then uh, figure out the wheels But for the most part, I think I'm good for now Whew, That took hour a couple hours yesterday in about four hours today, but got everything in nice and neat. Um, I'm happy with it. So, all right, it's my final update for this one. Um, I'm about to call it a day. Oh yeah, I do have one more thing. <laughs> so the front has air dams. And when I put it on a trailer, one day I was moving it. I made a mistake and uh, ripped it off. So, I picked up a new set. So I am gonna put these on. Um, if you know, these go in the very front, under the front bumper. So I'm gonna probably stick these on this afternoon. But, all right, that's it for this video though. I'm about to go ahead and cut this one. Uh, if this is your first time, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I still got a lot more stuff I'm gonna do to my Impala. Uh, still got the, still working on my motor for uh, my square body. So, like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of all the work I just did on my Impala, and I'll talk to y'all next time.